Our biggest update yet. We're making the world of Oblivion. Sky Oblivion Development Diary 3. For the past few years, our team has been chipping away at a seemingly impossible feat. Ooh. To remake the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Ooh. in the latest Elder Scrolls engine. Ooh. While there's still a ways out, we hope that this series will show you how far one of the most ambitious modern at... projects of our generation has that come. That looks nice. And where we are headed. Welcome to the making of Sky Oblivion. I just want to say real quickly, I absolutely have the most most amount of respect for people that do this and like as as their thing they the mod games and stuff because without these guys it would not you wouldn't have games like counter-strike right counter-strike was a mod and, and now it's a fucking full-on blown thing in esport it's freaking sick man look at this shit look at this shit it's like an hd and shit god damn dude it's crisp yeah it looks crispy Oh, the Oblivion gates look good, man. Damn. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh my Since god. Since creating our first dev diary, our landscaping team has been diligently recreating the various Ooh. biomes and landmarks of Cyrodiil. While some areas still require a decent amount of elbow grease, the majority of our map is now in its final stages of development. Okay, Today, I'm down. To share a few highlights with you all. To start things off, we would like to turn your attention. The character models don't look like friggin' scuffed Roblox characters, man. But back then, it looked friggin' awesome. I remember. I remember playing. I remember playing it. Holy fucking shit. PC too, man. My PC, like, was playing back then. My freaking PC almost caught on fire. The room went up, like, 20 degrees. It's crazy. Did you ever see the System Freeze 2020 video greatest laugh I had while driving? Nope. No, sir. Into one of the most colorful, beautiful, Ooh. and perhaps lesser known areas in all of Cyrodiil. The Fall Forest. Ooh. Okay. The Fall Forest is a small slab of land dotted around part of the aptly named Orange Road. While it was a relatively small area, it left a big impact on players journeying through, owing to its unique atmosphere. Bro. Consequently, we wanted to give special attention to the Fall Forest and the sort of TLC it deserves. God damn, this dude. Means entirely rebuilding the area and making it more lush and detailed than its original counterpart. We also decided to enlarge in the forest as to Ooh. play a more prominent role within the already it thicker. diverse landscape of Cyrodiil and cover a large God, that looks great! Look at that! While the area is not yet complete, we hope this footage shows we are on the right track with its redesign. Bro! The Gold Coast, on the other hand, is a region that is nearing completion. The sunny shores the Gold Coast is also redesigned to better fit their lore oh, and name, dude. making them quite literally uh -huh. golden. Uh huh. The region offers a pleasant environment with its clear blue skies, coniferous trees, beautiful beaches, golden grasses, and gentle breeze. Though oh, the region shit. is attractive, we urge travelers to stay on the roads as the local wildlife is not okay. nearly as inviting. Goblins, mud crabs, and even hey. the occasional bear have claimed territory in this land and will fight God to the death. Damn, dude. It. While you may have also heard reports of bandits and necromancers in the area, dude. rest assured that this is nothing more Wonder than. Wonder when they'll implement schoolies? Gold Coast? Yeah, bro. And uh, soon. Soon, I hope. Far distance, we can see the mountain everyone, peaks of the everyone needs to get their first drink on. A region <laughs> not that really. Not only a Half people that go to school is literally just very reverent and smash beers for years. Like the dry and warm climate and presence of mostly coniferous trees. While this area and the region beyond is okay. worthy of exploration, we will just appreciate her from a distance for the time being. Okay. Is it too much? Is it too much? Is it too much? Can you make a multiplayer? Is that a thing? Is, is, is that going to be so hard to implement a multiplayer system? Where you can just go and just go hang out with friends in their instance version of the world. I'm like five beers in right now. God damn it. Hold my, hold, Jesus Christ. Ace is at the wheel, man. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You are. You're, 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 you're out of control, man. You're out of control. 
Lastly, progress on the oh. area around the city of Anvil has oh. almost wrapped up as well. This. While we would love to give you a tour oh, is of the farms, Anvil docks, and other local points of interest. Is it too much? Is would it would it be too much? See how they're walking through the field here. There we go, bro. Good field here. Progress on the area around. It doesn't the sway. Of you know how like sometimes foliage has a very well. slight sway to it. To give you it gives it. See here, this foliage down here just doesn't isn't the swaying too much. Farms, Anvil docks, it's very static. Local I don't know, man. I'm nitpicking now. We think we'll keep these to you know ourselves I mean? for now, in favor of a proper spotlight in the near future. Absolutely. There is a sky on the opposite Kermit side of the hmm. province, we have Blackwood, the great southern swamp of Cyrodiil. The area borders the homeland of the Khajiit, elsewhere, to the west, and Argonian Black Marsh, to the east. These border areas have been This game looks like a freaking screenshot, like a, a desktop bloody wallpaper machine. So far distance. As such, we have erected border gates and okay. fortifications to add points of interest and diversity to these areas. In the I'm case in. of the elsewhere I'm in. border, having the player want to jump the walls see what this... and explore the foreign province beyond. Does this mean it's going to be like a 50 gig download? Hopefully, hopefully they do the textures right. And we play some VR. Oh, it'd be cool in VR. God damn! Oh, I didn't even think of that. Leaving Cyrodiil and its nice. behind. In the case of Black Marsh. Hmm. Well. Maybe we should just steer clear of Black Marsh. Oh, come on! The heart of Blackwood is a smothering damp Ooh. marsh, engulfed in seemingly eternal fog, death, and decay. This gloomy area, despite okay. its grim reputation, may still be worth a visit, however. The marsh is surrounded by impressive cypress trees, towering like... I think, I think, as someone who, as someone who didn't actually smash their entire way through Oblivion, like all the way through Oblivion. This wouldn't be a bad way to revisit it and actually tick that off the list of stuff to play, right? Got the Vive Pro, uh, Vive Pro 2 a couple weeks ago and hell of fun VR games. Oh man, I'd be down. Ancient Great. Guardians. What are they worth? While the undergrowth struggles beneath them. Due to its harsh climate and little hmm. human interference, the area retains much of its history such as its alien ruins submerged in the bogs nice. or abandoned imperial fortresses long since forgotten. This intriguing oh, part of Blackwood holds As amazing and beautiful as this looks, some of these pass-throughs are all static environments. Oh. The coast of Blackwood has Ooh, also been completely Look at that water. Where you once found hills oh. sloping into the ocean. One will now find a Look at that. forest that houses Bruh. worthy locations and many other mysteries. A sight to behold and a stark contrast to the Gold Coast on oh the western God. shore of Cyrodiil. If we divert our attention back to Blackwood, however, mm -hmm. you will also find that the area surrounding the city of Leowin has also been completely transformed. Ooh. The city is now surrounded by small farmsteads. That's cool. It's a much needed infrastructure. We are watching Oblivion memes of this? Yes. Help support the trading yes, we are, that travel to and from a city renowned for its lucrative trading business. The city of Leowin itself has been redesigned and rebuilt from the ground up referencing concept art from Oblivion that was likely discarded owing to technical and time limitations. Ooh. This new design of Leowin allows ships to actually pass through the city and sail further inland where they can moor at the capital of Cyrodiil, okay. the imperial city in the heart of the province. Other notable changes are the redefined districts of Leowin, which are now separated into three distinct sections. Oh shit! The heart of Leowin houses the chapel of Xanathar, god of work and commerce fitting for a city best known for trade mm. across the chapel one will regard the magnificent castle Leowin that houses i'm not seeing many npcs i'm not seeing many npcs yeah country's making a vr game no country is making oh bro country's got some shit guys follow country he's got some shit coming out bro Count and i'm telling you of blackwood I'm fucking telling you, country's got some shit coming out, and you guys aren't ready for it. I'm not ready for it. I don't want to see it already. Please. The city center, you can walk to the beautiful and colorful upper class district, which, among other things, is home to the famous Fighters Guild. Okay, there's the guy. Strong of heart to answer the call of adventure, and the Mages Guild for more intellectual individuals <laughs> who prefer wits over bronze. Some of the finest traders in Cyrodiil have set up shop 
and always welcomed visitors with peculiar tastes and deep pockets. It's freaking cool. And of course, for it's those more cool. interested in good food and a decent night's sleep, there are a number of quality inns ready to tend to your every need. The lower class district of Leowin can be found on the opposite side of town. While it may be a stark and even depressing contrast for first time visitors, it's nothing out of the order. I'm assuming they split it out so that they could they could make it in sections and not just make it as one big city and just click it all together, right? Kurt, what up, dude? Sino Dust 2? Yeah, what up, dude? <laughs> ready for this, dude? Oh my god, I'm ready for this, dude. Hearts. The lower class district houses a few you ready for this, dude, dude? characters and can provide a place to sleep oh, dude, dude. or pedal your It looks great. It looks fucking amazing, man. It is a safe enough part of town as long as you keep your wits about you and travel lightly. While there is more to talk about it. I get it. You're doing this in... You're making it in Skyrim, right? I really do think... Has anyone, has anyone tried to remake it in freaking Unreal Engine? You see what Unreal Engine could do now? I mean, you might be making it forever. But like, I mean, shit, they're going to sell you it. And the, Oblivion at this stage is still going to... That's not Oblivion. If Skyrim at this stage is still going to be on the shelves in the next 20 fucking years. So you may as well just give it a stab and throw it in Unreal. Right? You imagine if they if they did like uh, the next Fallout and Unreal, bro. You walk and stay at Trust Awake. Okay, BJ. And showcase in regard to our world map, bro. Cities. We also want to give our new fort designs a deserved spotlight. Forts are an iconic part of Oblivion. Right. The original game featured a total of fifty-two forts, twenty-eight of which have been completed since okay. we began rebuilding them two months ago. These old imperial ruins represent a time when the power of the Empire was undisputed. During the events of Oblivion, this power has been waning Jesus. for decades. And as a result, many of these forts have fallen into as decay, mate. now home to new masters. Yeah, you know, the, the dude, you know that this is like, you know, this is like a straight up Easter egg, man. Decades. I chuck this and bad boy result, in. Many Look at this guy up here. There's a guy up here. Many of these forts have yeah, that's fallen just Steve. Into decay, <laughs> now home to new masters. Our landscaping department has focused on recreating these forts using our brand new fort kit. The kit allows us to create more unique locations, okay. making more varied and interesting forts for players to explore. To give you an idea of how significant the reworks are, we would like to present some of our new designs Ooh. and tell you a little more about their origin and lore. That Unreal Engine mixed Sangator, in with the same mod flat sim? The ruins of Ooh. which can be found in the Gerald Mountains. Yes. And is oh. the only remnant of one of the ancient cities of Colovia. Through the decades, the city has right. warded off invaders, survived sieges, and offered shelter to those in need. Sankator is best known as the final resting place of Tiber Septim. Ooh. This man turned god fought his dying battle in this very place before ascending to become the ninth divine. Yo, Bishop, what up, dude? During the events of Oblivion, the hero of Kavach oh traveled to Sankator in order to retrieve the sacred blood of one of the divines, which is manifested in the ancient armor of Tiber Septim. Yeah, if they can get the ray tracing from the PS5 trailer, but more importantly, more importantly, I get you want to make one game in another game's engine. But if you take this to Unreal, <laughs> like now, if you take this to Unreal, Holy fucking shit. I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you. Himself. While most forts in Cyrodiil are mere shadows of their former selves, Ooh. Fort Blue Blood still stands proud. Blue Blood was constructed in the mid second era and stationed a large garrison of Imperial Legionnaires in its prime. Amidst the arduous marshes of Blackwood, this fortress became a beacon of imperial okay. power. Okay. A seemingly indomitable. It's it's hard. Syria. It's hard to. How many? Where the what the NPCs look like? You know, like what's it going to look like when you explore it? Is it, it just going to be empty and barren like this? Forces approaching from Argonia. This fortress, which was built because I have a chance to really like to invade from the east, redo it all. Ironically, succumb to its only weakness, peace. During the relatively peaceful third era. Do you guys remember Rift? Rift was an MMO that was built on the on the Sky. Um, was this, no, it was built in the Oblivion engine. Hmm. This looks very. Blue blood was abandoned and consequently eroded as time chipped away at its once impenetrable right. walls. Around the time the Oblivion gates appear around Cyrodiil, 
Blue Blood will play another part. Yeah, they took it to Unreal Engine. They've got a much better game than the jank we got in 2011. Bro. They took it to Unreal. Holy shit. Of the local Mages Guild. Riff was cool. Riff was great. Mad Jimmy, Jimmy. What's up, dude? Fathis Aaron's Tower. Good to see you, the man. name implies, this location can barely be called a fort at all. The centerpiece of this location... Yeah, it's not even a fort. Tower, Look at it. ...surrounded by magical pillars put in place... Oh, by it's the pillars. ...guardians. While this location does not offer as interesting a backstory as some of the others, we feel the tower emphasizes how our new designs will leave oh, a lasting bruh. impression on the adventurers who dare... To yeah, they definitely, they definitely imp inc improve the approach. Since creating our first I love that. Diary, I love that I come back in and re-edit shit. Focused on redesigning the dungeons Ooh. for Oblivion. Ooh. But as of April, we started working on interior locations for the city of Bravo. Ooh. Nearly all of these interior locations Look at this are shit. finished. And we are preparing to move on to the cities of Bruma and Skingrad next. Okay. The okay. city of Bravo is ridden by crime, corruption, and inequality. We have the opportunity to create a series of diverse and unique locations. How many people are working on this thing? Of its There's got to be like 300, right? An example of a location overrun by villainy and misery is the local skooma den. This wretched shack is where local junkies come. Oh, that's okay, Jimmy. That's right, man. Thanks for coming, man. It's coming comes over. At a steep price. While one may not pay much in terms of gold, mm -hmm. those drawn to this hellhole more than a hundred people do not leave until more than, their lives are in. More than a hundred people are, are playing this game. I'm making play. I'm making this game, so it, it is legitimately an insane fucking passion project. I love it. I fucking love it. No way they're doing this all on. No, no way they're doing all this under one hundred. I reckon that they possibly had people come and go, and you would have people that would have specialized in certain things, and because. If they reuse assets, all you're doing is upgrading textures for them, right? You know what I mean? As much as Oblivion and Skyrim have a special place in my heart, the gameplay loops of these are yucky. Oh my god, they have to do all the voice lines too. Ooh, that'd be cool if they included Yeah, because if they're gonna change this if they're gonna change the locations, the storylines. Oh. Yeah, people can people can people can chip in and walk away, but you've got to think that like that's a big project, man. There is a lot of things. Uh, look, if they make it really good, bro, and we get some good stuff on it, I'll fucking go check it out, man. For sure. Ruin and death might be seen as a mercy. Damn, Travel son. is not all doom and gloom, however. For those after a hot meal and comfortable accommodation, there is always the local... Bro, look at that horse. If you can spare the... Volunteer base, I'm guessing a lot of numbers. Also, Oblivion was the very first game that had in-game DLC. It had horse armor. And if your horse died, you lost that armor. So, if you guys are complaining, and you ever have ever complained about any in-game DLC, it started in Oblivion, man. It literally started in fucking Oblivion. Jesus Christ, man. Extra coin. We recommend yeah, 40 bucks. I remember that. Because everyone was losing their shit. You pay that money for horse armor? Here he gives a fuck. My horse has got some cool shit on it. Oh, no, your horse is dead. Now what? Oh, fuck, man. Right? Crazy shit. Crazy. Bethesda from memory said they can make this, but cannot use any audio from the original. Oh, my fucking God. They're redoing everything? Who do we have to talk to to get our voice in this game? I could put on a voice. Hello, tra <laughs> Hello, weary traveler. I shot a bucket at uh, the Elder Scrolls, uh, the Elder Scrolls Renewals office. Oh, okay, dude, dude. Honestly, you can be a random. You could totally be a random. But, oh, what up, nerd? <laughs> Put that in there. Like, wait, can I get a voice line in the game? Yeah. What is it? Yo, what up, nerd? Just clip it from this video. Ugh. Recommend the relatively upstanding silver home on the water, as opposed to the shabbier, lonely suitor lodge. Okay. Shops, guilds, your local castle, and regular houses with. Bro, this is cut so well, man. Are all this is cut so well. Intriguing city. So go out and explore, but heed our advice. Holy shit! Try to make it back to the inn of your choice before nightfall. 
dungeons are Ooh. another essential part of any Elder Scrolls game. Damn, and Oblivion son. boasted its fair share. The level design of Oblivion's dungeons, however, is often seen as the weakest of its I know they're looking for that long time. No. To remedy that, I never... Put I don't know if they finished the Skywind. To work. In our effort no to idea, make man. our cave systems and mines more unique, we have created biome-specific tile sets. This way we can make strong. I'd love to be a voice in Sky Oblivion, right? Bro, BJ, you could be a voice in anything, bro. And the warm you got that voice, bro. Depending on bro, if money was an issue, I'd have you narrate all my shit. Hundred <laughs> percent, dude. On its inhabitants and location, a dungeon can take a myriad of shapes and sizes. Okay. In Sky Oblivion, you will find vampire clans, bandits, goblins. Packs of wolves, bears, right, trolls, right. or anything in between having made a cave. Only fan hot tub streamers. Hot tub streamers. Uh, only fans uh, refugees. Uh, freaking, what else is going to be in that dungeon? Uh, uh, shit kids. Kids that got banned for playing Fortnite and then ran into a stream and then lost their shit. Uh, people who said sub to me in chat. Um, what else? Pretty much all those people. They're in, the, in, they're in dungeons. You can find them in dungeons, man, in this game. It's freaking awesome. Home. I love it. Thus, I mean, we are able to create bespoke experiences that we hope the players can appreciate when exploring these new locations. Oh, those mushrooms look tasty. Currently, work has commenced on over 40 of the total 115 cave systems. Yo, really, what up, dude? Oblivion. Nice to see you, sir. If you have creation kit experience and like to build homes, caves, or mines, and in the future, forts and alien ruins, right. we would be thrilled to invite you to join our team and join the effort. Mm. Having all these amazing exterior and interior locations Pingers. is fantastic, but right. our work doesn't end there. Without the help from our excellent navigational meshing team, right. these areas would never shine as Todd intended. Navigational meshing is required Ooh. for artificial intelligence, such as bandits, deer, goblins, yes. and the like, to walk around, spot you when you're poking your nose where it doesn't belong, and maybe more importantly, attack you and other NPCs that cool. do not belong to their faction. Cool. That is why our nav mesh team has been hard at work to nav mesh the forts, forests, caves, houses, shops, and many more locations. Some of which Jeez, we showcased during this developer diary. This job is easily underappreciated, but it is crucial Absolutely. to the project's success, and we still have a lot of ground to cover. If you have experience in this field, we encourage you to sign up God Howard. and join the team. Oh, you guys, go there. Skyblivion.com really slash volunteer. Need all the help, we can get, need all the help you can get? You want some voices, bro? Here's another once voice. <gasps> as we have a sister project in the works that aims to create a tool that will automate the process. Do you have experience in C++? This might be a fine opportunity to contribute. That's you, Rhythm. They're looking for Since you. Since our last dev diary, we have worked on a number of 3D objects. Ooh. But our focus has been architecture tile sets and clutter. These claims are being prioritized to allow nice. our level designers to use the new and improved kits and assets in order to rebuild all the interior and exterior God damn. locations across love, love to be a bandit. When we use the term clutter, be a bandit chief, especially in players, yep. What's up, hand? Barrels, crates, whoa, 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 calm down. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. But seriously, that'd be fucking cool. <laughs> Look how shiny that shit is. And my axe. And also, yeah, fucking earth. You know what I'd feel like if, if you know, obviously, I'm not the type of dude that goes in and, 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 and and you know volunteers for mod projects i literally would feel like have you ever seen that meme with the uh they're, they're like rolling the dice they're rolling some D, D dice and then there's the labrador that comes up and he just drops he throws his ball in it too and he's looking around like hey i'm joining in too that's literally how i would feel <laughs> yeah i can help out silverware furniture gems books and so on Nice. These assets are used to literally clutter up interior locations. Ooh. A library filled with books, mm. or a kitchen stocked with pots, pans, food, and wine. Without clutter, these locations become empty and characterless. That's true. Architecture claims are by far the biggest remaining Ooh. claims for the project. Some of these assets are seriously huge, but we are working through them. Inch by inch. Oh, yeah, they better have poop in that toilet, bro. When you go in there, they'll be, be, be pooping there. 
such as the mysterious alien ruins hmm. left behind by a race of elves who have long since departed this world. Right. City specific architecture such as the buildings of I have a feeling one of my old housemates is also working on this. Oh Jesus. Really? Turn big. Big turn, hang out. Yeah, dude. BJ needs to be put put a dookie in the toilet. Yeah, BJ, you should take a photo of your dookie and then they can make that into an art asset and then put it in the game. And then you can go, you know what, for my ass to the game. It takes quite it takes quite a list of talents to get it pulled off. Dude, this is fucking huge. My big thing is you have these guys that will mod this game. What's stopping them from making their own game? Because ideally they're just making a game, right? He's a mod creator for Skyrim. Oh, jeez. C++, I'm your legends, BJ's turd for the loo. Bro, I'm telling you, you 3D scan that sucker in, it's all good to go. Why specifically your turds, bro? Because they're classy. You know, I think they, I think after you, you hang a dookie, bro, you, when it comes out, there's like a, there's like a bit of gold foil wrapped around it. You know when you get those really, really expensive Cuban cigars and there's like the, the gold foil around it and stuff? That's what I picture it. The Bravil, Rumor, and <laughs> Skingrad are also important. Not least oh, the stately man. castles or the atrophied ruins of an empire whose domain covered almost all of Tamriel. Ooh. This is not to say work on weapons, armors, clothes, and creatures has been put in. Man. Away. We are nearly That's finished. That's the next level of stuff, of right? Weapon and armor sets. Dookie with flair. The most completed of which is on screen. Unique wow. weapons, while not a priority, still have our attention. Mm -hmm. You treasure hunters can thank us later. With a total God. of 8,032 3D objects damn. being made, our 3D team is never short on new assets to tackle. As such, we encourage experienced 3D artists to join our team if you think our project provides a challenge to further hone your skills. I like or it. Or you simply want to help make this project happen. Yeah, let's make it happen. What do we need to do? What started out as a simple side project has evolved into one of the biggest modding projects to date. <laughs> Despite the massive scope of this project, we are finally seeing the end of the road, but there is still work to be done. Oof. We hope this video has given you a better insight into the project. A hundred percent. And perhaps a Jesus, show even though they're now reusing footage, but holy shit. Yourselves. Only How? The Elder Scrolls modding communities talents. Is my crabs are having a mad picnic? They're hundred percent up. <laughs> community, could we have ever gotten as far as we have? Oh For my God. For our next God. diary. We are preparing a deep dive into some much requested subjects, such as quests, mechanics, and much more. That's cool. So stay That's tuned. That's cool. That's very we cool. Hope you continue to support us as you have for years, and we are excited to share much. Bro, more. nerdy, what up, dude? Thank you. Just for took watching. nerdy to me. Hey, doing, man? We'll see you in the next development diary. Take care. I got freaking goosebumps, man. I got freaking goosebumps. That's freaking awesome, man. Holy crap. That is very, 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 very cool. Oh, dude, hurry up and finish it.